Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and in this video I am going to demonstrate how to deploy a simple Node.js HTTP cloud function in GCP using GCP console. I am logged into my Google Cloud account. Go to the navigation menu. Click more products. Click cloud functions. Click create function. So we will leave the environment as 2gen because it has more advanced feature set. Now we need to provide a function name. So we'll, this is going to be a simple node.js. So I'm going to call this hello node HTTP. I'm going to leave the region as US central one itself. And I'm going to select allow unauthenticated invocations. Let's review the runtime built connection and security settings. So memory allocated will keep the minimal. And the timeout is 60 will leave it as default and the maximum number of instances i'm going to leave, keep it as five and the service account i'm going to leave it as default so if you want to add any runtime environment variables you can add it so if you wanted to add any build worker pools information that can be added so connection i'm going to allow all traffic and security so if you wanted to add any secret reference you can add it and the encryption you can use either the google managed encryption key or the customer managed encryption key image repository you can use the google managed artifact registry or the customer managed artifact registry click next you can see a simple node.js code here so which is going to take us a query parameter or the request body if you are providing the name as a request body in a json format it will take the name so if nothing is provided, so if you are just triggering the HTTP URL without providing any uh, query parameter name or if you are not posting the request without any body with the name in the JSON, it is going to just print hello world. So this I'm going to change. I'm going to change it to hello from cloud function. So here you can see the package.json file also. Now click deploy. This is a very, very simple Node.js GP cloud function. So it's creating the build. While it's doing the deployment, let us review the other information. In the metrics tab, you can see the various metrics like invocations per second, execution time, memory utilization and instance count. In the details tab, you'll be able to see the information like region, memory allocated, CPU, timeout, min and max instances, concurrency, service account. All these information you'll be able to see in the details tab. In the source, actually you can see the source code. And if you have defined any variables, you'll be able to see here. And once the deployment is successful, you'll be able to see the trigger URL here. And in the permissions tab, you'll be able to see the principle and the roles associated to those principles. And in the logs, you'll be able to see the logs. Right? And in the, the cloud function has been successfully deployed. And here you can see the trigger URL. Let's click that. So since we have not pa passed any query parameter or we have not posted with a name in the JSON. So that's why it is giving us hello from cloud function, the default. So now let's pass the query parameter here. So now it's giving me the message hello Kavitha right and also here you can see in the testing tab it gives an option to generate a test command so which can be executed in the cloud shell I'm going to copy this command activate the cloud shell we tested two things till now so one is by executing the default trigger without any parameters so it gave me the messages hello from cloud function and then we executed with the query parameter so which gave the which took the parameter and gave the messages hello kavita so now in the cloud shell i am going to make a post request and we could see so again it has taken the value which we have provided as part of the post message and it has printed hello kavita in this demo we have seen how to create a simple Node.js HTTP cloud function in GCP using the GCP console. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching the demo.